to testing one. Testing, testing. Testing, testing. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Sydney channel. No, no, remember to speak up. Because okay. you're always so soft spoken. Okay. Wow, that is too loud. I'm just kidding. My new lips. guys welcome back to the sister channel we are doing a little bit of a different style today which we're really excited about so let us know down below how you like it we're just gonna kind of do our makeup and talk to you guys talk to ourselves not ourselves, yeah. not ourselves. <laughs> we just wanted this to be kind of like a get ready with us we're just gonna like catch up chit chat i feel like we started the sister channel with like a completely different style yeah it's evolved so it's much evolved so much like we were trying like the like reality style like trying that out i think it was fun. a little cringe to be honest it was, it was fun but yeah it's not really i don't us. think it was cringe. it's not it's just it was very natural it was fun yeah. It was fun. It was like a way for us to be creative a little yeah. bit. And people liked it. I think yeah. some so people really liked it. Some people were like, ways. oh god. It's not my favorite. But I feel like this style is a little bit like podcast style. Yeah. So just like talking about certain topics like, and yeah. have conversations. Opinions, difference of opinions, because there's definitely things we agree and disagree. Agree and disagree, even though we are sisters and we have a lot in common. We definitely. Yeah. Don't agree on every single thing. Okay, I need help because I'm trying out the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Have you not ever used I've it? I've never used it before, so what's the best way to apply it? Use a brush. Because it's, it's very such sheer. A good one. It's I think you'll like it because it's super natural. If there's gonna be any foundation you like, it's gonna be this one. Yeah. It's like a wedding day foundation. Yeah. Oh wow. Well this color definitely matches. Oh good. Because it's so hard when you're so bare. So pretty. Yeah. I just like how it just looks like skin, but it's not too much coverage, so your freckles will still, like, yeah. show through and everything. A few days ago was Thanksgiving, and it was my first Thanksgiving away from you guys. The yeah, family. Family. Yeah. It was, was super weird. It was, was weird glad you got too. to go spend it with them, but I was just like, oh. I know. Oh. So I went to San Antonio to spend Thanksgiving with Mohammed's family, and although we've been together for, like, three years now, we haven't spent Thanksgiving together, Yeah, which is weird. So I went to San Antonio for Thanksgiving and we had like a big Thanksgiving on Thursday with his family and it was a lot of fun, but I missed you guys because Thanksgiving is one of my favorite holidays yeah. Yeah. and I wanted to be home with everyone for it. It was different since we didn't really have it with our family. We didn't do home. Thanksgiving, we just had brunch. With Lena yeah. Omar, and so today we're having like our actual like Thanksgiving meal today. My grandma and great grandma are coming over. Oh, food. they're coming! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You never think about how you have to split holidays yeah. once you get married, mm -hmm. especially like you and Omar live in the same town, so mm -hmm. you can go. So you can't like choose one over the, over the other. And I'm like, how do you figure that out? Well, this year Omar and I did brunch here, and then we went to dinner at his mom's. And I think like. I've heard other people, they will like alternate years. I know, I asked. So, um, yeah, people will alternate Instagram. holidays. People just split, like alternate. That looks so. really good. Does it really? Can I use it? Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> oh, Does it look good. good? That looks so good. Wow, I'm surprised. Wow. Is that Elena? Yeah, yeah, hold on. I have a bit around my nose. <laughs> no, it's not even funny, guys. Hold on. Because I'm not going to be looking. <laughs> Let me see. Just get it. I'm trying. Okay. No, but I freaking love their their skin tint. Yeah, so that's what so I just much. use. It's mm -hmm. insane. Their their concealer is actually really good too. I don't actually like the color I have for me right now, but the formula is really nice and creamy. I think all of us are kind of the same in this. Where recently we've been trying to try out more like clean, clean beauty, just because it really does matter what you put on your skin. Because mm -hmm. you know your skin is your biggest organ. Like whatever goes in your on your skin seeps into your body and just like since we wear makeup practically every single every day, day it's just better to have clean products same um, for skincare too and skincare exactly it's just hard to find clean products that are actually perform though so mm -hmm. like i don't have every single product in my routine as clean but mm -hmm. i'm like trying to find ones that i like yeah it's kind of hard i feel like a lot of brands are moving towards clean beauty like that's like kind of the standard it's basically the standard it's like expected now my favorite brands that i've found so far have been Ilia. Milk has, I like their bronzer that I'm gonna use. Uh -huh. Rose Ink, I feel like is a really nice mm -hmm. brand, but I've only tried their blush. I haven't tried anything from them. I like their aesthetic. Lena, when you and Omar got married, how did y'all kind of like figure out how to split holidays? Did y'all even talk about that or is it just like, 
You know, I think it's actually a little bit easier for us because since our families are really good friends, like with Eid, I feel like a lot of times we would like We're all, together. all be together. Like even you guys would be hanging out with like me and Omar and his cousins. And yeah. It's just is like everyone together. For y'all's wedding, it wasn't like the groom side and the yeah. bride side. It we was all like everyone had yeah. the same side. It's kind of was for I kind of like I kind of liked that. But yeah. then again, like it's fun to like meet new people, people. And have a new family to yeah. bring into your world and stuff. But one thing that we're excited about is when we have our next house, inshallah, it'll hopefully be bigger and we can just invite both families over. I yeah. Know. I was thinking maybe next. Thanksgiving, we can just have all of our um, family and our family. Yeah, that would, so I think nice. that would be so nice. Yeah. Do you think it will be in your new home better? Mm, I kind of doubt it yeah. because they said it's going to take a year max, but I don't know. I think it's going to take maybe a little bit longer. Just yeah, I think it'll be a little longer. We'll see. How am I supposed to apply this? Oh, um, you need a. I feel like y'all are doing so many steps, and I'm almost done with my makeup. <laughs> Drawing very slow. Well, that's because you don't need a lot of makeup. Y'all don't either. Yeah, please. that's because you're pretty and we're and we just. Oh, please, Lauren. I feel like Can I, I just this? want more coverage. Yeah. yeah. I just got a new one, but they didn't have the full size. They just had the mini. Yeah, so was the mini. What are, like, some things that you look for in, like, a spouse another. or, like, when you start dating someone, like, what are your things that, like, a man has to have? Oh, my man is calling me. We will call him later. <laughs> Lena, you go first. Yeah, I don't want to me. Go first. Okay. This is very nice. Let's though. see. Well, it's so hard because I was just so young whenever I met Omar. Like, I didn't even know what I was looking for. Yeah, I don't think... What would you say, like... But if, if I was to date now... Yeah, I was looking for someone. Now that I'm older. Faith is huge. Yeah. For me, that would be... Okay, like, that's a no-brainer. Obviously, yeah, we need the faith. Faith. I mean, there's so many important qualities. I know. I was like, oh, they have to be. I feel like that's such a broad, broad basic I think, question. Yeah. Okay. After you decide that you're attracted to them, that bronzer looks good on you. Really? <laughs> it's literally. Oh. Oh, she I just saw this on the side. I'm like, it's not even on. Like, why are you laughing? Does it even look like I'm wearing bronzer? Here, I use mine. It's a little bit darker. We're trying to get a man to this. I like bought that. more stuff during the Sephora sale. Anyways, anyways, um, anyways, after you decide you're like physically attracted to them, you start looking at like their character and like do their morals align with your morals? Yeah. And like, um, that's like the biggest thing. Do yeah. they make you, you feel comfortable? Comfortable. Do you like get along with them? Because there's a difference between like liking someone and like loving someone. You know what I mean? Like. No. No, like. I'm just kidding. Okay, you could you mean like be like friends with someone. Friends, like you versus, like them, like you want like to be like being attracted them. to someone versus being like comfortable with them. No, like what, being what like them. being friends with someone versus like lusting over someone. Yes, like you like them, you like to spend time with them, you enjoy their company, and like they don't like annoy you. Mm -hmm. Like you like them, you like to be around them. Yeah, I feel like with our upbringing and just how we were taught that having like a physical relationship with someone before marriage is like, you know, a no-no and stuff like that. Like now that I'm older, I realize why. If you're to like get into a relationship and then right off the bat, you have that like intimate connection, it just distracts from like actually getting to know actually them. getting to know them. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like if you become like physical with someone, then you like already have you're that, like, like connected. Yeah, you're connected. Yeah. yeah. And how can I? I just can't imagine being like attached to someone like that and then finding out later like that they weren't actually the one for me. Like, yeah. I'm not good at explaining stuff. No, no, you're not. You're good at explaining that, and that totally makes sense. But when you're growing up and you're going through puberty, <laughs> yeah, and you're around, like in school, you're around so many people who have boyfriends. You're like, why can't I just have a boyfriend? Yeah, like, I don't understand why I can't just date this person. But yeah. one thing I think is difficult in our culture: some people they want you to just meet the guy. And then you get engaged because he's a nice guy, he comes from a good family, and la da da. And you think it like checks all the boxes. Yeah, yeah but it's so important for you to actually get to know them oh, like and date them. Like, I really feel like girls should be able to date. Like, you need to get to know this person. Yeah, I agree. You yeah. know? And I just feel like as long as you have like certain boundaries yeah. and like, like an understanding being, that this um, is us getting to know each other for marriage, I don't see anything wrong with that. I don't that. see anything I wrong with it either. I think it's more beneficial. Yeah, I think that's why it's difficult. Like Muslim girls like dating 
but it's like you need to be able to get to know them before you just decide you know that firsthand. Yeah. How long do you need to get to know someone? That's the question. Someone one time was saying you need to get to know someone five years before you marry them. I'm no, like, I'm gonna be that by then. <laughs> no, I don't think it's five years. No, I think. Too long. I think at least on, a year though. At least a year, but I think it depends how often you get to see the person. That's true. Like, okay, a year, yeah, honestly, I think it's a good amount of time. Like, if you date them for a year, then you decide to get engaged. Yeah, I agree. But, you, but that year, you have intentions of, you know, we're getting to know each other because we want to get married. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that's a good amount of time. I feel like out of all of us, I have the weirdest dating stories. Yeah, you have very... Oh, man, tell all your so stories. <laughs> We both went through this time, like, I would like to call it a hoe phase, but we weren't hoes, like, It was, all. like, trying to find, trying to find someone. We yeah. were, like, single, trying to find and a we, guy. And we were so hot at the we time. We were. I looked back and I'm like, damn, I look good. I don't know, I'm like, I don't know what happened, literally. Anyway, anyway so, enlighten us. I never this got to was before I met Muhammad, I think I was still in college. Yeah, you had obviously. just, it was your senior year of college. Yeah. In my freshman year of college, so like we were like, mm. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I don't know how, but I found this guy on Instagram, mm -hmm. and he lived in Dallas. Yeah. And he was, I thought, he was like so attractive. Yeah, and he was her type. And he was like, typical F boy now that I look back at it. Yeah, for sure, I don't know why. Where'd you be? Instagram. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I slid in his DMs. Right. First of all, his name was something stupid that he like made up. Yeah. Like and it wasn't his real name. And we still don't remember. His I don't name. even remember his actual name. Do you have a like a uh, bronzer for your eyeshadow brush? Okay. So. How did you actually for sliding in his name? Yeah, being the one, because I don't feel like it has to be the guy every time. I don't think it has to either. No. And I've, I've said that before, so I went, I slid in his DMs and I was like, oh, I've never met anyone named Light Switch. That, that's what we would call him. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've never met anyone named Light Switch. Wait, it looks like Light Switch. Comment down below, literally. Comment a light, light bulb. A light bulb down below. I'm going to try to contour my nose. I don't know what the heck I'm doing over here. <laughs> I slide in his DMs and I'm like, oh, I've never met anyone named Light Switch. <laughs> and he's like, uh, I said, what's your ethnicity? And he was, it was like, hard to tell. yeah, he was like, oh, I'm, what was he? Sudanese, I think. Sudanese. Yeah, he was Sudanese. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And so we started like messaging back and forth and then somehow he got my number and he was super into lifting weight. Like well, so out. were we at the time. So it was yeah. like, kind of like a common. And so were we. So I was like, oh my God, we have so much in common. Like he likes to work out. out. Yeah. Like, I like to work out. Like I'm like so stupid. We're both Arab. <laughs> we're both Arab. Like he's really cute. <laughs> we're so amazing. We're so Literally amazing. at this point, I thought we were going to get married. And so we, he invited me to go work out with him. And I was like, oh my God. Like, so I like straightened my hair and like put on the <laughs> cutest work, work out outfit. And I met him and at a I time. And I was so hyping you up. I, I know. Like, and I didn't even live in Dallas at the time. Like we were all going to Dallas and I went basically specifically to work out with this guy. Yeah. And I like put my hair down and I'm wearing this really cute workout outfit. And I walk in and he's like waiting for me at the front desk. He like checks me in as his guest and we go start working out and we're just like talking and then I realized that he's like actually training me and he's like yeah okay one more set yeah you got it and I'm like what oh, the heck is this guy doing and I hadn't oh, eaten anything that morning so I was like this is not <laughs> happening right now I'm gonna throw up from the sky we just keep working out and like he's like kind of flirting with me but not don't really. you hate when you can't tell yeah I'm like, like I can't tell what this guy's doing but like okay I guess we're like really working out and like I <laughs> could work out like I could lift heavy weights so nothing that I was doing with him I couldn't do yeah but he was just such a show-off like this guy was he had in his Instagram bio that he was pre-med but yeah, he, probably he hadn't even graduated college yet he just wanted to go to medical school and then he was just telling me how he like he had a Range Rover and he could like oh my he God. could afford it and all the stuff I and I'm that. just like well, okay dude so bad. basically like <clears throat> when we left like he gave me a hug and like left and he would text me a little bit but I had him added on Snapchat and I found out that he had a girlfriend and I'm like what the heck like and she was just she was out of town at the time literally Poor girl. and i'm like 
Okay, so I just never I texted just him again, people. and he never. And then to me. him, it it's just, just like, oh, she's just a friend. No, she he to work out. Yeah, exactly. But he just saw like me on Instagram. Probably I had like a lot of Instagram followers, yeah. and he's like, oh yeah, let's go work out together. Yeah. And I'm just like, okay, dude. So that was really disappointing. Oh, you have more. Oh, yeah, I do have another one. There's another one. Well, I'll make it short. Basically, she went on a date with this guy, and they had been, like, FaceTiming for a week before they actually went on the date. Yeah. So Amanda was so excited. Like, she was literally so excited to go with this guy. I was like, he's left-handed, I'm left-handed. Like, it's we're meant to be. be. <laughs> yeah. I seriously thought these things. And so were, she like, goes on the date, and it ends up being a total bust, and she's so oh, like, I thought out. that because the guy was really nice, but he just... I hate to say he wasn't my type because I don't think I have a type. It's just that I could tell our maturity levels were not on the same, mm, like, well, no, yeah, no. and we had FaceTimed yeah. so much that there was nothing to talk yeah, about. Yeah, but that shouldn't be, like, you probably I know, it. it was just, and we went to this, well, I hate to say we went to this restaurant that wasn't good because it's not his fault. He, I mean, he did pick the restaurant. Just the but he restaurant never, he picked was a little immature, like, just I don't know, it just wasn't a mature, like, we're getting to know each other for marriage type thing situation and I just wasn't interested after that. And then he did some weird hand well, I, thing. Oh yeah. So like, he gives her like grabs her hand. Oh yeah, he like grabbed my hand and, and goes like, like, went this. like that. And I was oh, like, oh that's so crazy. When he first like, saw you or what? I don't no, remember. The I think at the end of the date something oh, happened weird. weird. It was just kind of a weird situation. Oh my God, that that gave me weird vibe. It was very weird. It was like this. Let me show you. He grabbed my hand like this and then like went like that oh. on my like wrist. And I was like, that's not a <laughs> feeling that I want to feel. Like, I don't like that. I don't know. It was I weird. Don't know. So I went through a few busts before I found Muhammad, but <laughs> I feel like I needed to go through that stage like that to know what I wanted in a guy because even if you yeah you do it's like a like dates don't work out at least you're you know like oh this person was this way I don't really I don't want that yeah yeah that's true something I don't, don't want oh it's definitely a dude who was so into his Instagram and so into himself. See I the mean, first guy from the gym who had the light switch? He yeah, was very into himself. Like, well, considering this is what we do, like, it's difficult to say that, but from, like, a guy's perspective, when he's just, like, flexing on the gram and, like, posting selfies, it's just, like, very unattractive. I don't know. I feel like if I was to go, if I would be dating now, I would try to find someone who was, like, not into social yeah. media whatsoever. I know. I like to find someone who doesn't even have an Instagram. Even when I met Muhammad, like, he didn't know anything about social media, anything. Because we were, that's refreshing. It was. Yeah. I mean, he had an Instagram, but he didn't know. But I think it kind of also like makes it. it difficult to understand our world. Yeah, a little bit. I feel like you can easily, like, talk to them about it and explain and yeah, but yeah, like, bring them into that world a little bit. understand sometimes, I think. <laughs> Maybe not, mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like if Omar, if I wasn't doing what I was doing, Omar would never be posting on social media. Yeah. Like, yeah. he never even posted our wedding. I remember that. Omar, like, barely posted a picture and then it was like... I know. I, did he post y'all's wedding pictures? No. Yeah, I remember that. I so. Yeah, Maybe, like, two years later don't. on, like, an anniversary or something. Yeah. yeah. They just don't. But um, you don't need someone to post on Instagram to show you their love. Yeah. I saw something on Instagram the other day that was like... Don't be fooled by Instagram. There are happy couples that don't post anything, and there are miserable, miserable couples that look like they're like completely in love. Yeah, that's so true. And it's so true. Lena, what would you do if Elena wants a boyfriend? See, I've been thinking about this stuff like every once in a while, and I'm like, I don't know what I'm gonna do when she's a teenager. Like, I remember going through that phase and like seeing everyone with a boyfriend. But I think you just kind of you just have a boyfriend anyways, and you just don't tell your parents. Did you do that? Yeah. You did? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so did you. Yeah, okay, I did, but... Yeah. And you, but at least you told... Well, no, Mama knew. You Omar. did? Oh. Yeah. See, Lena met Omar at such a young age, it's like... You, don't you didn't... Know. You didn't go through that. And I think Mama knew that he was good potential, so she didn't really mind that I was, yeah. like, yeah. to him. Because she was like... I don't know, she really liked Omar. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Cause oh, I know what I will do. I will go to her school and literally fight somebody. Well, when I was like in like you know fifth sixth grade, whenever guys would 
like trying to talk to me or like you know for the first time I would always just tell them like I'm sorry I can't I'm not allowed to my mom my mom and dad won't let me or yeah you know, I would literally tell them I'm not allowed really what would I yeah. no the thing is in school I was so shy honestly that like guys did not really try and date me honestly I was kind of the same I was way. so shy I remember like at school dance and stuff when I would go with my girlfriends guys would try to ask me to dance and stuff and I would just tell them no I'm sorry I'm not allowed oh really really yeah. you better be able... like yeah let's go yeah I'm in the wood yeah I can't <laughs> But yeah. the thing is, nobody asked me. Maybe I was just a weirdo. No. Maybe you're just intimidating. Oh, no. yeah, because I'm a. I'm a <laughs> Um, that reminds me of telling people things like I remember whenever I was in like third grade If my friends still thought Santa Claus was real, I would be like, no, he's not Oh my like, god, I'll yeah. ask your mom I if know. he's real my, uh, I think my first grade teacher had to tell I'll me like, not to say that to the other kids Yeah, I think that probably was <laughs> too Like, uh, sorry Let me bring it back to what I would tell Elena Because oh, yeah. I'm not 100% sure I mean, I'm gonna try to bring it up to her before she's at that age. Y'all, these little kids, they start having boyfriends and girlfriends younger and younger nowadays. Yeah, like, no. For me, I remember in fifth grade, that's when they started. Me, it was sixth but grade. Yeah. These kids, like, I'm pretty sure they start in like second grade. <gasps> that's good. You do not scary, need man. a boyfriend, literally. I didn't even want a boyfriend until I was out of high school. That's the thing. I think that's the best because when I you're in high school, sure. people go off to college and then. You you either you break hearts or get so heartbroken. Much after yeah, high school. Yeah, you change so much. You just kind of become a different person and you mature so much. You kind of know what you want in somebody and then you can start dating. I started dating after high school, freshman year of college. I feel like even at, in college, after college you change so much. Because then you get into like the real world. I don't know, I've been That's in college true. for like six years so I guess I wouldn't know. Well... <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I would just try to talk to her before any of that starts, like when she's like super young. I know. Honestly, it's like, I think you will be close enough to her where you can be like, you can yeah. tell. I want her to be able to talk to me like a boy. Yeah, if she has a crush on someone, I'm gonna tell her like that's completely normal and it's totally fine to like have crushes on people, but it's not okay to like act yeah. on that. And you you're ready for marriage. You can be friends. Or just tell her you can have a boyfriend yeah. after you graduate in high school. That's what I'm gonna tell her. I'm gonna be like, it's not worth it, honey. Because then it's like they're just like not worth your time. Until yeah. You can be like everybody wants you anyways, so you might as well just like wait yeah. till you can pick a good one. Ooh, yeah. Can I use this? What is that? It's color pop lip gloss. Y'all, I do not have any idea. She's only one. Because I feel like if you tell her it. you can't have a boyfriend. She's, oh, she's crying. She's crying because you told her she can't have a boyfriend. Maybe instead of saying you can't have a boyfriend, just say you can have one after high school. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna tell her that these boys are not worth it in high school. Like, they're so pretty they're just gonna break your heart. Comment down below if you're a mom with yeah. kids and you've gone through mom. situations like this to give Lena some advice on what one she should One thing do. that my parents have always taught us is like, if you just, you know, you're like super strict and you tell them you're not allowed to do this, you can't do this, you can't do that, then kids are just gonna go behind your back and they're smart anyways. and they're just gonna figure out how to do it behind your back, yeah. Yeah. So I would rather her be able to talk to me about things Yeah. and be open and not be judgmental while still having like certain boundaries and like, I don't know, hopefully have her be able to make smart decisions uh -huh. on her own. I totally agree. What advice would you give for a Muslim girl who is ready to start dating, like trying to find someone potential for marriage? Like, how do you go about it? How do you let the other person know that you only really want to date them for marriage? How do you still be cool in the way you do it and nonchalant? Maybe I should be the one answering. Yeah, Laura, why don't you answer yeah. all these questions? Because I haven't been out of the dating scene since yeah. I was 15 years old. Oh, is my time to shine? Yeah, Lauren. I'm just kidding. My makeup asking. looks so good. Yeah, it does. Does it though? Let me see. Mm. Does it look good? Or yes. Get like yes. shirts. I like that foundation on you. Okay, okay Lauren. How would you advise a Muslim girl to go about dating when they're ready for marriage? Okay. So I think you can't <laughs> okay. be. You don't want to approach the person and immediately first thing start talking about serious things. Yeah, that's a little bit weird. It's a little bit weird, and you really can't do that. I think. Yeah. You can get the vibe if the person is serious or not, or just messing around without having to like be like, okay, listen, I only date people for marriage. So you gotta meet my parents tomorrow. Yeah. Like, don't be weird about it. Don't so, be weird, number one. Yeah, How do you know if they're serious? Like,
like do they start talking about I think they the start future, talking like, about the future their plans like how they see you in it exactly they start like, doing that maybe they start asking like those major questions like about values mm -hmm. or like and you see kind of if yours aligned with theirs would you be potentially get along with this person before you start asking them like Hey, Before it, it don't meeting. treat it like an interview. Yeah. yeah, treat it like honestly, treat it going in like we're just gonna get to know this guy. You don't want to be too much because you'll get to know the person if you feel like they're serious or they're not serious. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I think it takes more than one meeting with a guy yes. to know if they're the one because I don't think you're gonna, not everyone gets this spark Oh my gosh, love at first sight feeling. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's so important. Yeah. The first date, it's like, okay, I got to know this person, like, they're cool. Like, I could see maybe something with them, but I need to keep getting to know them. Like, you can't, oh, no, I need to get a Q-tip. Like, you can't, first of all, the first, first outing, you don't really open up and, like, really be yourself anyway, so you have mm -hmm. to keep getting to know this person. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so, I was so nervous in front of Mohammed for, like, a month. I couldn't act my normal self. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't even drive That's a car properly when he was in the car. You just get so nervous. <laughs> and like being nervous I think is a good thing because then that means like, oh you're like attracted to them. But we were talking about this like a few weeks ago. There's some girls that feel like when you meet someone that's a potential husband. If you don't feel like a spark or, or like like some kind fireworks. of feeling like the first date. Or I feel or you will know like, oh, this is my husband yeah. the first time you meet them. Yeah. I don't think you know that. I think you have to keep getting to know the person. I agree. Yeah. Right? And like even though I was young, I wasn't like I didn't have like a certain like spark or like a certain feeling like when I first met him. Mm -hmm. like, it definitely took us time grows. to grow our relationship. Yeah. And grow that feeling. Exactly. But I was attracted. I feel like there's a difference. Like there's, if they're you. not attracted to someone, that is different. Like, yeah. That is that probably won't grow. That's not gonna grow. <laughs> yeah, it possibly could. It possibly but could. But I don't think just so. Like, that's my opinion. I feel like there's a difference between like, oh, I'm attracted, but I just didn't feel anything. Like, okay, well, you need to get to know them a little bit. Longer. I like that. Yeah, good job that's such a good advice. Just, like, honestly, completely like, okay, they were just disgusting. Like I, I like they ached that, you out. If they I get you it. out, yeah, please don't waste your time. Don't waste their time. Yeah, you know, not everybody is for everyone. <laughs> I'm sorry, you just give me the. Yeah, I'm sorry. You <laughs> me Oh no. No, I'm just Poor kidding. Guy. No, I really like, feel for guys because girls are too much. Girls are too much. Like, they're too uh, harsh. Like you judge them. Including all of us occasionally. No, I always give men the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, yeah, I do. I think you do, actually. Yeah, I do. We were just talking about this the other day. This is different, but say you're like talking to someone and if they don't like answer the phone or they don't text you back and you're like, oh, you wait, where, what is this person doing? Are they okay? You like, worry about so their well-being. <laughs> and you're like, no, they just haven't texted you back. This happened once, I guess I can say it, like yeah. once in my past relationship, the person wasn't answering the phone. And like I had called him a bunch of times and I started worrying about them. That's why I kept calling. And so then I freaked out to Amanda. I was like, Amanda. Like she's like Lauren, calm down. And then you find out they were just like your phone was just on the charger or something, and then you get mad. Because yeah, you're like, okay, I screw was... you. I was literally thinking you died. <laughs> I was having to picture my life. Yeah, I was planning your funeral. Yeah. Oh my so, god. But I think that's the advice. Like you kind of go into it maybe without expectations. Like you're just like, okay, let me just. If anything, like, it's just an opportunity to get to know somebody new exactly. and then kind of go from there. But you can always tell if this person is trying to screw you around or not. Not always. Oh, no. I can. Not always. I mean, I think it could be blindsided. Like, there are people who are two-faced and you think they're one way and then you find out they're completely different. Yeah, that's true. But another thing is when you're new in a relationship and you're, like, infatuated with someone, you are completely blinded. Like, mm -hmm. I've seen it with both of y'all. Yeah. In the beginning of both of y'all's like past relationships and stuff, mm -hmm. all I see is just like hard eyes and just like, oh, they're just perfect and all this stuff. Yeah. I think that's why I've turned yeah, into a very weird. realistic person. Yeah, I mean, that always is too much realistic for me. And I'm because like, I yeah. used to be like, oh my god, everything's fine. When there's like fire flames all around, yeah. now I'm like, 
cool, let's be realistic. Yeah, I like to be realistic too, but like, not really. No, not really. You're blind. It's not in the realistic phase, yeah. Everybody's makeup is on point. I have a line. I never have this much time to do my makeup. Elena's always stealing my beauty blender. Oh, she takes our beauty blenders and she Oh my god, them. she took a chunk out of this one. But she ate it, yeah. I got it out of her mouth though. Anything that I'm using, she'll be like, ah. Like, trying yeah. to steal it from me, I'm like, oh, You're gonna so walk in. Blending. You're gonna walk in one day and she's gonna have makeup all over her I know. Her day. So, like, just before we came, she had a lipstick tube, or a, sorry. Lip gloss. Lip gloss tube and she was like pulling it in and out and like putting it in her mouth and like putting it all over her oh my hair God. and putting it back. And, yeah. But if I took it away from her, she would literally just have a tantrum, so I don't know what to do. Yeah. I don't have anything else you better to distract her with either. Both of y'all look very beauty. Yeah. Beauty. You look beauty. Beauty one, two, three. Okay. Any concluding thoughts? I think it's important for you to get to know someone for at least a year before you get, before you get engaged. Get engaged. And Honestly. I think it is important to actually date. Yeah. I agree. And, and there is a hell of a way to get there to know is, someone. Uh, yeah. I think like, dating is like this word that's like, mm, oh my god, that's Like so you're gonna wrong. do something or sleep with yeah. them or do something intimate. You're not, that's not what we mean. It's just yeah. like, okay, go on a date. Go to dinner with them yeah. by yourself. Go to coffee. You're not gonna do anything. You just wanna, when you're in a public, place yeah it's very it hard to, to get someone. to know someone with, with other people around. yeah it's very difficult you don't feel like you can be yourself you, you can't feel like there's yeah. someone breathing down your neck it's awkward so, don't like bring your mom with you or something i mean maybe for some people yeah maybe that that is how that they works have to do but it, i feel like but. most girls that i would know would want to do it the way that we're saying mm -hmm. agreed i hope you guys like this little yeah that was fun i think this says. was so fun i really needed this like therapy session yeah it kind of was <laughs> comment down below if you guys like this and like maybe some other topics y'all would like us to discuss because we're like open to talking about it yeah yeah i agree comment a turkey emoji if you made it to the end of this video because it is our thanksgiving today yeah, yeah. <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this Thank video make sure you like this video and subscribe if you guys are new. We'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Bye. Bye.